What's up, YouTube? I figured we'd do a walk around. I haven't done one in a little while, but I figured I'd do a walk around and show you guys what uh, fish we have available here at Cunningham Cichlids. We still got a lot of nice fish available, so let's go ahead and uh, walk around and take a look. So, still have a lot of nice assorted OBs available. These are OB males. Couple, uh, three, uh, Litho, or actually four uh, lithobate males. There's one there. Um, some Xerox there that are available. So, just some different different OBs in here. If you're interested in something, there's that one there is pretty cool. Um, some nice blue on him, and orange. He took off. But if you're interested in any of these, let me know. They're on our website as well, but just as assorted OBs. And then over here we have some, uh, they want to get fed. Some Lawanda, some Lemon Jakes, some uh, really nice right there, Tangerine Tigers um, that are available. And also some uh, Protomelis Labradins that you don't see too often. Hey, Les. So figure we'd, uh... then back here we have some Kobu Regos still available. Starting to get some really, really nice color on these guys. Nice red underneath and also have some lithernop red cap males available as well so everything's on our website it's up to date as of today so and then down here we have some real nice monsters man these sulfur head hey how you doing there jeremy really really nice sulfur head mar rocks and these are not a hybrid these are the true sulfur head um, the Protomean Splot and SMR Rock Sulfur Head. These guys are every bit, some are every bit of 8 inches. These guys are monsters. And then, of course, some nice uh, Living Stone Eye that are in there with them. There's a really nice male Living Stone Eye there that are avail that's available. Yesterday, I thought these guys were going to break the tank. They were, a couple of these uh, Sulfur Heads were fighting. There's another nice uh, Living Stone Eye. They're starting to fight a little bit those two males right there I'm gonna start going at it here trying to figure out who's the who runs the show so anytime you do male tanks you have that so then over here we still have some uh, Lawandas some couple um, Alana Carr Jacob Fryper guy swallowtails the Carolina swallowtail couple blue neon still available and then some uh, Ningara plain tails that are still available in the tank back here. Also have some uh, Lichichromus acuticeps, Malawi gars. These are on sexed. I can pick a couple males out, like right there's a male. Um, but a lot of these smaller ones are females. So if anybody's interested in a nice group of Malawi gars, I can set you up with one. Uh, we'll keep walking over here. Still have some more male in the gar over here. Uh, flavescent, the Eusicea flavescent peacock that's available. Another kobu down here. And then a copra or a autopharynx ovatus that's hanging out with them. And these are a couple of female autopharynx uh, blue long nose nova. If anybody wants to breed them or has males and wants to breed them, I got a couple of females still available. Down here we have some Nasiochromus for Stoma Gomes. These are an Aquagus, so these are German strain. Um, these are from our breeders that are available, fry that's available. Really, really nice hat to grow out and work with. And of course your garden variety yellow labs. These guys are breeding in this tank, so there's males and females that are present, obviously. So if anybody's interested in some yellow labs, we got this size, this is about three inches, and then we got another smaller size. We have these uh, Restratus available. These are two to three inch Restratus. There's gonna be a male right there. Um, Restratus, you can already tell. He's about three inches probably. So if anybody's looking for some Restratus, I got two to three inch Restratus available. Also have two to three inch um, Madoka White Lips and also some inch and a half or maybe two at the best. Uh, Phoenix Island Star Sapphires that are hanging out with the Madoka White Lips.
And then, if anybody wants to breed your Bucochroma spectabilis, we do have a male there and eight females still available. And these are breeders. I did pull fry from them, so they are proven breeders. Then we have some smaller Lynchochromus acuticeps, uh, one inch or so available. And then one hat you don't see too often, again, is another Aqua Gus uh, strain. We got some Autopharynx Walteri. These get all blue with a nice uh, red on the top fin. So we got a bunch of the Autopharynx Walteris available. Starting, there's a male there starting to pop, probably. Um, so yeah, those are on our site. Check them out. Then here's the smaller yellow labs. Like I was talking about, these guys are about two and a half inches, two inches, probably best. Probably two and a half at most but they're available. And then another one you don't see, uh, some Labrachromus uh, hongi. So here's another Mabuna. I don't really carry, usually carry a lot of Mabuna, but um, this last couple orders we've been bringing some in. So these are some nice uh, red top hongis. If anybody wants a nice group of Mabuna to grow out. And then, uh, fix my light, sorry. These lights sometimes. You try and move them and show the fish off. There we go. Alright, now we're back in business. And then keep walking. We do have a bunch of fry here, so if if you're looking for some uh, Mylochromus aricatanias, some F1, Copernicromus arnipinus, we got you covered here with some. Uh, and there's some other, uh, some Lynchochromus acuticeps, some bigger Malawi gars in here too, about an inch and a half that are in this 150 grow out. Here, we'll throw some, throw some of our food in there. If you guys don't know, we do sell food, our own Cunningham Cichlids uh, food blend. So this is just a mix of flake that I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in for these guys. It's got vegetable flake, tropical flakes, spirulina, plankton krill, brine shrimp flake. It's all everything mixed into one that we carry, uh, that we feed our fry. So they'll go to town on that. So let's keep looking at what we have available. Uh, some Bugachromus rhodesius. These guys are two inches or so, two and a half. Can't sex them, but if you're looking for a, a group of Bugachromus rhodesi to grow up, I got you covered. Let me know. These guys are East Coast Gold. They're a Madagascar cichlid. There's a male right there. They have spawned for us twice, but unfortunately the eggs didn't, uh, I think they, ate, they ended up eating the eggs. So if anybody wants the Madagascar cichlid to work with, we got some, uh, we got some available. And then down here we have some albino Eureka Reds. And I got one blue dolphin that's available. And a couple, one Copra Chromus Meloto. I think these are a hybrid. I bought them as blue orchids, but to be honest, they didn't, they're not 100% blue orchids. So I think they're a hybrid. You can see kind of the yellow on the top. And then this is a Copra Chromus Meloto ivory head, but he came in with the blue orchids. So I do have one of them left. And then we have some smaller Champsochroma spirulinkus F1 available that are in here. These guys are about two inches at the most. A couple convicts hanging out with them. Don't ask me why, but they are. And then over here we got some Portomelis Nedwe fire haps, your blue fire haps, similar to your red empress, but a little bit different. And then we have some bigger Protomelis uh, Insignus, Plotinus Insignus available, and a couple Didymachromus Stregatus males. There's one male, there's another male, Stregatus. So if you're interested in those, again, it's on our website. Check it out, CunninghamSickles.com. Keep walking. Some nice eight inch, this is an eight inch uh, Malawi Hawk, Aristochromus Christii that's available, as well as another eight inch uh, Malawi hawk that's available. We sold one this morning, so they went they went bye bye. So, um, but we have a couple more males available. 
if you if you like the hawks and then we'll set up predator tanks also have a couple nice wild these are wild champs acroma seralius uh that guy's starting to get some nice color these guys are seven inches probably at best i'd say seven inches probably Man, that guy's got some nice color in that one not starting to color yet but i'm sure he will eventually and then we have a uh, Venustis available if anybody wants a Nimbachromus Venustis male. We got one hanging out here. And then if you want to breed, this is another species we have. Diddy Macromus uh, compresses up, sir, the Malawi eye biters. Um, we do have males and females, and they are proven breeders. I do have fry I can show you that I pulled. There's most of the females in the corner. A couple of the subdominant males. There's the dominant male right there. He's been doing all the breeding and running the tank. Then down here we got some OB um, eye biters. Let me move the light a little bit. Some more Bugachromus rhodosi. These guys are five inches. There's males and females uh, rhodosi in here. And then we have a couple of four inch Aristochromus Christi eyes and a couple of four inch uh, eye biters in here too and then of course the albino eye biters there's a really nice albino eye biter there and then smaller Portomelis palatinus uh, Tanzanians these guys are two and a half inches two inches probably if you like Tanganyikans we got some Neolamprologus mustax that are available and some near Lamprologus multifasciatus. So if you guys want some Shellies, we got some different Shellies that are available as well. This is a group we might sell. This is a group of two males and 17 female uh, Pacitochromus Madoka White Lips. If we sell them, it will only be a group. I will not break this group up. So you gotta be a breeder that wants to breed this fish. Um, haven't decided. I did get one spawn from them so far. I haven't pulled anything yet. They ended up swallowing them or I missed it. Doesn't, either way. But, uh, so yeah, if anybody's interested in breeding this fish, we got a nice group that we can set you up with. And then down here is a wild caught Protomelis ornatus male we have available still. We have some Neolamprologus uh, Tretocephalus or your uh, Trets. There's five trets in here that are available. Some uh, tanks aren't as clean as we need to get the algae off the tanks, but algae eaters are not doing their job on these couple tanks. But got some light lupi available, and we got some ornata pinnis that are available. Then over here we have your OB red empress and regular red empress that are available. And then down here we have some more Hatmori males or your blue dolphin males. And what, five, these are autopharynx, lithobates, zimwe rock, OBs. So we have five OBs, zimwe rocks left. Or yeah, five. These guys are four inches. So there's a decent one there. And another one over there, some nice yellow too. So those are on our site too available. I have some three and a half inch Champsochromus seralius Malawi trouts unsexed on our site. Some uh, Tania chromus holotanias unsexed are on our site as well. These guys are two and a half inches, three inches at most, two and a half probably I'd say. Uh, what? There's a seven of them or whatever hanging out. And then one male Copperchromus artipinus that I threw in there with them. Then we have some bigger Protomelis Palatinus Tanzanians. These guys are three inches or so. Um, you can already see some males like right there. There's a male starting to show. These guys are mostly males. There's another male there. So if you're looking for some smaller male juvenile uh, Protomelis Palatinus or Insignis, we have them available on stock. I think they're 30 a piece on our site. And then we have some smaller Chance of Chromus Seralius Malawi Trouts down here. These guys are an inch and a half um, that are available. And then one of the groups we want to get rid of, they are starting to breed. 
So if you're interested in breeding, these guys are F1, they're gonna take off, but F1 Protomelis ornatus, there's the male, there's another male above them. Starting to get some really nice color. I believe there's one more male in there potentially, right there at the bottom, and then the rest are females. So if anybody's looking to breed and wants to breed, uh, this is one fish you don't see bred too often that I've seen. Um, they are F1, so I doubt they get the thick, thicker lips that the uh, wild ones will get. But I do got a wild male you could buy with the group and then put your wild male in with the group and then uh, there you go. You got a wild male and F1s so you're breeding together. So yeah, these guys are available. These guys are on our site. If you're interested, send me a PM and I can uh, take care of that for you. And then of course food. Uh, we have multiple food from uh, your fry crumble one to two to two millimeter, three millimeter pellets. Uh, we are working on some new labeling. This is just a prototype that's on the bag um, that now has the ingredients and everything on it. So same thing with the algae wafers. So eventually all these bags will be relabeled um, with some, some nice looking more professionalized labels so that's coming down the road but anyways we got three millimeter pellets we got some color enhanced pellets one and a half and three spirulina pellets available algae wafers which algae wafers just aren't for your plecos or catfish you can also feed them to your cichlids um they will eat them and then we got flake food your brine shrimp your cichlid flake your color flake and then if i walk uh back to my other holding spot back here we got your plankton krill, spirulina flake, your earthworm flake, some spirulina, some vegetable flake, and of course tropical flake. And just because it has Cunningham cichlids on it doesn't mean you can't feed it to other fish besides cichlids. Um, our tropical blend is great if you only have guppies, molly, stuff like that, or any just community fish, that would be great for them. Angel fish, it's great food for angel fish as well, some brine shrimp or plankton krill. So check out our website, CunninghamCichlids.com. If it's your first time trying our food, use First Time 10 for 10% off your order. Any orders by three o'clock usually ship out the same day. So with that, with that, we're gonna end the live stream. Just figured I'd do a quick walk around. It's been a while since I <clears throat> I had shown some of the fish that we had available with the last couple orders. So yeah, we'll end we'll end and come back to the albino Eurekas. These guys are pretty nice here. Nice five inch, four and a half inch plus males. So with that, everybody enjoy the rest of your Thursday and uh, have a good day.